The Fairlight CMI was one of the first workstations to cover sampling, synthesis and sequencing. Introduced in 1979 by Fairlight founders Peter Vogel and Kim Ryrie, the CMI Series 1 was not an instant hit. With a maximum sampling rate of just 24 kHz, it was often described as sounding scratchy, and its music composition language, or MCL, was considered difficult to use. It wasn't until Peter Gabriel used the CMI extensively on his third studio album, released in 1980, that the CMI really took off. The CMI Series 2 was released in 1982 and addressed several of its predecessors' issues. Sampling rate was increased to 32 kHz, and a new graphical composition tool was introduced, the Real-Time Composer, or more commonly, Page R. Although cheap when compared to its main competitor, the Synclavier 2, which weighed in at a whopping $300,000, the CMI Series 2 was still way beyond the price range of most musicians at around $32,000. And just to put that in perspective, that's the equivalent of around $82,000 today. Arturia's CMIV was modelled on the Series 2X, which was released in 1983. That release added such things as MIDI support, a new FFT additive resynthesis engine, and a processor upgrade. By the time the Series 3 was introduced in 1985, the CMI had pretty much reached its peak, and sales were starting to slow. Cheaper alternatives such as the Insonic Mirage and Akai's S612 were hitting the market and so the CMI's fate was pretty much sealed. The Series 3, however, was a major upgrade with CD quality sampling, updated software and a more ergonomic replacement for the light pen, a graphics type tablet next to the QWERTY keyboard. Some purists believe, however, that the Series 3 lost some of the character of the Series 1 and 2, and as such, even today the 2X is the most sought after Fairlight. As the new decade rolled around, the Fairlight CMI fell out of favour, replaced by cheaper and more capable technology. But his place in history was sealed.